Hi guys, my name is Jimmy Allison. In this video, I'm gonna get into automation in clips. In Ableton Live, you can do automation in Session View right on the clip. For instance, I have this re-space that I got off Splice. It's just a single tone. What I'd like to do is change the pitch with uh, automation. So I'm gonna click on the E to get into the envelopes, which is where the automation is located. And then I'm gonna use the drop down menu here under envelopes to select clip and then select transpose. Now, what I wanna do is every bar, I want it to change the pitch. So on the second bar, I'm gonna go ahead and make a selection from bar two to bar three. And then I'm gonna move my mouse just off the line. You'll see that if I'm on the line, I get a blue dot, but I wanna move the entire line segment. So I move the mouse just off the line where it turns blue. And I'll grab it, I'm just gonna move it up a little bit. Now, I'd like to move it up a very precise increment, and I can't do that when I'm moving a line segment, so I'm gonna let go of the line segment, and then go over to the edge here and grab the break point, and when I scroll over, you'll see it says it's plus 3.5 semitones, but I only wanna move it up a second, which is two semitones. So let's move it down to two semitones. And we'll go over here and move the other one down to two semitones. And then on the fourth bar, I would like it to go up to the fifth interval of the scale, which would be seven semitones. So I'm gonna do the same thing, scroll over the line, and just go ahead and move it up. And then I'm gonna grab the breakpoint and make sure I deselect. So I'm just gonna deselect the area so I don't move everything, and then grab the breakpoint and move it up to seven semitones, which would be the fifth interval of the scale. Grab this other one, same thing. And that's pretty cool, and that's pretty much it. You know, you can do, everything pretty much works in a similar fashion, but let's do a few more. I'm gonna go into the clip volume and i want to kind of make like a gating effect on this base to make it a little more interesting so let's try some different things out first let me zoom in and i'm going to do maybe eighth note so i'm going to make a selection bring the volume all the way down and then select right here just like that so i'm going to select from the beginning to the 1.2 and then use duplicate which will duplicate that maneuver. Now, we can send it all the way down the line. And let's go ahead and hear how that sounds. That's okay, let me go ahead and duplicate the clip. And then I wanna clear the automation. And let's do a shorter version this time. And then we do the same thing, but this time, Smaller intervals. Let's duplicate it all the way down. Cool, I might wanna use that as well. So I'm gonna move these clips down, and I'm gonna duplicate this one. And let's just go ahead and select all and delete. Awesome. Now, let's do some automation on a MIDI. What we can do here is, I have uh, Yuhi Diva loaded, and it's got this, you know, this sound. You know, it's okay. Let's go ahead and mess with it a little bit. Let me open up the editor, and what I want to do is be able to automate the third-party plugin. So I need to pl click this little arrow here and click Configure. Then anything I click on in the synth, it will allow me to automated in Ableton. So what I really need is the cutoff and the peak. So that way I can do some cool things with the filter. And now we can close this. And now I'm just gonna select the filter cutoff. And what I wanna do is I want it to start off like this. And then play. So let's go ahead and bring up the clip. Make sure envelopes is open. And you'll notice that the VCF frequency is already selected for me. 
because Ableton will queue up the last thing that you click on when you're uh, working in session view or any view really. So the first bar, I just wanna do a fade up. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my selection, grab my line segment by being off the line just a little bit and I'm gonna delete this breakpoint by clicking on it. And then make sure to get rid of this here because you hear that I don't want that noise. So I'm gonna get rid of the, this breakpoint as well. And then I'm gonna hold down option and scroll over my line segment. You'll see I get a little like curve symbol on the, on the mouse there. I can click and drag to make a like a little curve. Okay, now that's cool, but I only wanted to do it when the clip first engages, when it loops, I don't want it to do it. So what I'm gonna do is click unlink, and then I'm going to just duplicate this um, loop bracket here, and then select my automation and delete, and now move, if you scroll over to the beginning here, you'll see I get a little angle bracket, and I can move my loop bracket, and then bring the start point back to the beginning. And what this'll do is basically it'll start playing from here and then loop when it gets into the... Uh... So let's just make this a little more interesting when we get to this section here where it starts to loop. So I'm gonna make some edits to the automation and do something like that maybe. And then I don't wanna wait for this bar. So I'm just gonna start it from here so we can. And maybe do a little bit of variation on the line segments. This one really far down. Cool. So now when it starts, oh, let me go ahead and move my, my start position back to the beginning. So you can see I from there, you can have some fun, and that's pretty much it. My name is Jimmy Allison. I'm an Ableton Live certified trainer. I teach one-on-one -on -one lessons online and in Austin, Texas. Check out my website, austinabletontutor.com, for more information.